Hello, my most amazing art students. So today we're going to be working on drawing our um, Van Gogh's Starry Nights. So this is pretty intensive, um, especially for a second grader. It usually takes us uh, about a month of art classes, which is four art classes, to get through. So if you need to space this out over a few days, I totally understand. So what I... How I'm going to have you guys start this is I want you to get a black crayon and you're going to place your hand um, on your piece of paper like so and we're going to draw a tree based on your hand just like that tree in Van Gogh's painting. Okay, so we're going to outline our hand, but instead of going all the way around, we're going to make this part really tall right here. So watch me do it. I'm going to go around and then right here I'm going to go really far up and then come back down and go like that. So there's my tree. Okay, yours probably isn't going to be so big because your hands are smaller than mine. But that's that's how your tree is going to look. Okay, and then let's see. After that we're going to put our horizon line with our black crayon. We are going to do that magic trick where we go behind and we don't draw the line. So I'm going to start here with my line. Skip whoop, magic all the way here and go up just like that. Check that out. And then the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to get a blue crayon. All my crayons right here. And we're going to create that swirl in the sky. Okay? So... I'm just going to, and I'm going to go behind my tree and use that magic just like I have before. Behind and do a spiral right here. And then we're going to come around this spiral and create another spiral right there. Just like that. Now I'm going to get my yellow crayon and I'm going to create a crescent moon. A crescent is that um, shape of the moon shape, you know, that we say. Or a crescent roll. You guys have had those before. And I'm going to color it in really well. Okay. And then I'm going to create stars by drawing circles randomly. Okay? I don't want them to be in a row or anything like that. I just want them to be randomly throughout the page. Random means just willy-nilly, wherever, wherever you want them to be. And we don't want to put too many um, because we're going to be making them bigger than this. So not too many. And that's probably good. That's probably enough. Now, the next thing we're going to do is outline these. So I'm going to take a different yellow. You can use the same yellow, but I, I like to use this one because it's a little bit lighter and it highlights. And I'm going to make dotted lines all the way around my moon and all of my stars. Making dashed, I guess dashed dotted lines around every star. Just like that. All on every single one. Just like that. I'm going to take my white crayon. And I'm just going to create like a swirl around each of my stars with my white crayon. And I'm going to dot or dash around my yellow line. Sorry. On my moon. Go all the way around that. Then I'm going to take my orange crayon and I'm going to go around again and make more dashes all the way around. If you need to pause the video, please do that and finish up your stars. I've done this for many years, so I go a little bit faster um, than maybe you would doing it for your first time. All right, this is such a fun 
lesson. And don't forget your moon. You gotta do your dashes around, around your moon. I love doing this with my second graders because it's such a special project. All right. And then last but not least, um, I'm just gonna take that yellow crayon that I used to draw my stars and my moons, and I'm just gonna create one more dashed line around it. Just kind of shows that light that the stars are giving off, right? And notice I'm not going under the hillside over here. I'm just uh, going where you would see the light. And there we go. Okay. And now we're going to work on our swirls, okay? So we're going to create those dashed lines with our swirls. Um, just following the line that you already drew for your swirl, we're going to create dashes that follow that and fill in the spaces. I, don't, I wonder if you guys watched that video with the swirling... Um, and we're going to go underneath too. We went on top and now we're going to go. I love that video with the music in the swirling sky. Van Gogh's Starry Night Swirling Sky. If you didn't watch that last week, go back and watch it. It's really cool. Um, it's got a really interesting... Um, I think it's a computer program. Now I'm going to go around this swirl computer program that they use to create those, um, the movement in the swirl. So the way that we're doing these marks is actually, now we're going to go underneath. Um, the, the way that we're making these marks is actually going to give the movement to our artwork as well, just like Van Gogh's paint marks that he put on his painting did. I'm going to take a lighter blue color and I'm going to add more swirls around here on the top and bottom with my dashes, my dashed lines, just to kind of strengthen that look. And we're probably not going to do, be able to do top and bottom because we're kind of full with our marks right now. So if you guys get to that point where your marks are full too, just put them where you can. Okay. All right. Oh, and I got to do the top over here. And we're going to go ahead and take our white and do the same thing um, on the top. And you won't be able to see these. But they'll be there. You know how to make your marks now. And we're going to do a lot less of these because we don't have, we can't get into those tight spaces that we've created. Well, you can't see them now, but when we do our painting, I might put a few in there just to give it. Okay. Now I'm going to take my crayon and I'm going to do horizontal means straight across lines um, to fill in the rest of the space that we don't have swirls in with our blue because we have a night sky. So we want the whole sky to be blue. Okay. I'm going to check my time, guys, because uh, I don't want this video to be too long. All right, we're almost at 10 minutes. So... We're probably going to break this into um, the sky and then the, and possibly the tree and then the village, okay? Because otherwise it's just going to be such a long video. And I don't want you to have to have a long video. So as you do this, make sure um, that we're not making really long lines with our crayon. We just want short dashes. Um, we don't want tails. Let me flip this over. We don't want this. Okay, we just want small, short marks filling in um, 
our air, you know, our blank areas. We're going to go back with a different color crayon and we're going to fill in some of the white spaces. So that, I'm going to flip my paper over just so it's easier to get to this side of things and can still continue with my horizontal straight across marks, filling in that sky, that night sky around my stars and around my swirl just like that. This is a lot of work, huh? I've been doing a lot of impressionistic artwork with all the different grades and my, 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 my hands getting kind of tired. I'm sure your hands getting tired from making all these marks. Imagine what Van Gogh felt like doing those large paintings that he did with all of the marks that he made and how much time it took him to make it look so amazing, right? Awesome. Almost there. So what I'm going to do is pick um, probably this lighter blue color and go back in and add in some of the white spaces some more of this blue filling in. Um, and this can go a little bit faster because you don't have to make as many. Remember, we're not scribbling. We're being very diligent about our mark making and filling in these areas. And we might go back and do a little bit of white highlights in there too, just to show the, the light shining in the sky, um, that starlight reflecting in the night sky. Okay, I'm gonna flip my paper back over and do some more of these spaces. Wherever you see big white gaps, go ahead and put, oh, there, see, there's a couple right there that on my swirl that I kind of missed. And then for just to top it all off, I'm going to take my white crayon and just put a few um, white marks in the sky. And you'll see why. It's like magic when we paint this. We'll see how it comes out. That's it for today, though. I don't want um, this lesson to make you too tired because we still have a lot more to do um, on with, with the night sky. I'm going to fill in some of this swirl. All right. Thank you guys for joining me. Ooh, look at that. Amazing night sky. Next week, we're going to work on our tree and our village. Thanks for joining me today.